We need it for my patio. Got my greenhouse behind me with uh, seedlings going. We should be on track to plant some vegetables by uh, mid-May, which is what we, our timetable here in Colorado. Um, so this video is about uh, composting actually. I've been composting in my backyard for a couple years now and it's been a learning experience for sure. Unfortunately, for even after reading some books, I had to learn a lot by trying and failing. All the compost books will tell you that you have to mix, quote, browns and greens. Uh, what does that mean? As you dig deeper, you find that the browns are things that ha uh, contain mostly carbon, while the greens contain a high proportion of uh, nitrogen. That's misleading because things like coffee grounds, which are obviously very brown, uh, actually have a very high proportion of nitrogen. For, so from a composting standpoint, those are green. Uh, the bacteria that make composting happen, and especially hot composting, require the right mix of uh, carbon and nitrogen. All the books tell you that a good compost pile has a carbon to nitrogen ratio, or CN ratio, of about 30 to 1. That's all well and good, but what does this mean in practice? In this video, I'll show you what I actually use in my compost piles to get them uh, hot fast. Like most people, getting started in composting, I read books and articles telling me to add one part green to three parts brown. So what does that mean? I just took the advice at face value and added a decent sized pile of dry leaves and a smaller pile of food waste. Oh man, did that ever stink. It never got hot and it reeked of ammonia. It was a sure sign that I'd added too much food. Since then, I figured out how to get a hot pile that does not stink. These are the ingredients that I use in my compost pile, mostly dry leaves that a neighbor provides. And yes, the pile of leaves that I started with in November was about as big as this one. The leaves have some grass clippings mixed in. I also shred my, my uh, junk mail using a paper shredder. I get coffee grounds in bulk from a local coffee shop. And I also compost with food waste from my house, but I don't, I don't just throw it right into the compost pile. I use the Bokashi method to pre-process it. I'll go into more detail in another video, but Bokashi is an awesome way to speed up composting and to keep vermin out of the pile. The sizes of the pictures are proportional to the volume of each component. The volume of a leaf pile is immense compared to the volume of coffee grounds or food waste. Compared to my first compost pile, I'm probably adding 10 times the volume of leaves that I was before. Here are the same pictures displayed proportional to their weight. Even though the leaf pile has 100 times more volume than the food waste and coffee grounds, I probably add more food waste and coffee grounds by weight. It's difficult to actually weigh something as bulky as a leaf pile. Luckily, there's some margin for error because the CN ratio doesn't have to be exactly 30. Before we can figure out how much carbon and nitrogen our pile has, we need to account for the amount of water locked up in each component. The leaves, paper, and dry grass clippings don't have much water weight. Depending on the day, the coffee grounds can be either dry or waterlogged. I assume that the coffee grounds are typically 50% water. And by the way, yes, you need to take out the coffee filters from those grounds because those things are difficult to compost. The food waste, like the human body, is almost all water. I assume that the food waste is 80% water. Now let's do some calculations to figure out the CN ratio of my uh, compost pile as a whole. Here I've displayed the CN ratio of the five ingredients that I use. A quick Google search gives many resources that tell you the CN ratio of all sorts of different substances. Here's the estimated weight in pounds of each component. The weights could just as easily be uh, kilograms. All that matters really is the ratios. My neighbor provided me with uh, 35 bags of leaves, but I bet that the leaves only weighed 50 pounds in total. Shredded paper and grass clippings are a bit more dense. I estimate that I added 100 pounds of coffee grounds and about 200 pounds of food waste. In total, the ingredients weigh about 420 pounds. Now let's account for the water weight using the percentages that I told you earlier. I estimate that about half, the ingredient, half of the added ingredients by weight are uh, water, or about 200, 213 pounds. Here are the non-water weights of each component. To compute the weight of the nitrogen in each component, we simply divide the uh, non-water weight by the CN ratio. 
and get these numbers here. So at the end of the day, I've got about uh, six pounds of nitrogen versus 200 pounds of carbon in my pile. That gives a carbon to nitrogen ratio of, of uh, 31, which is quite close to the value of 30 that the compost books uh, recommend. After you build the pile, you need, you need to add enough water to keep it moist. I estimate that I add about 50 gallons of water from the garden hose. This is roughly 417 pounds. It essentially doubles the weight of the ingredients that you add in the first place. So here's the temperature in uh, five thermometers placed throughout my compost pile the day after I um, put the mixture together. And it's hard to read those uh, numbers for you, but uh, the temperatures are between 130, 140 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So thanks for watching. Hope you found that useful. Uh, if you did, hit uh, like and subscribe. Or if you think I'm being an idiot, uh, leave a comment and tell me so. I really appreciate all the feedback that I get. Thanks.